building is getting a new charter school, but an environmental poison tied to the building that houses it is triggering serious concerns. Our Timber Schumann spoke with a concerned citizen and local journalist worried about the possible effects. It's very intense. After several years in business, Rocky Mountain Gun Club, located off of 31 Road, has officially closed their doors. And in just a few short weeks, these same doors will open for Ascent Classical Grand Junction. The charter school plans to serve K through 8th graders this year and add one grade every year until reaching 12. Ascent Classical Academy is a charter school, so it's a public nonprofit, but also completely independent from District 51. Like Caprock Academy, also a charter school, the state oversees Ascent Charter School. Their curriculum comes out of Hillsdale College, which is a Christian. Christian College. And Landman, a concerned Grand Junction citizen and local investigative journalist with a medical background initially worried about faith infiltrating the newly built school. It's going to be funded by taxpayer money, which would violate the separation of church and state. But Ann tells me that issue fell to the back burner when she learned the school was moving into an old shooting range. Because this is lives we're talking about. This is, this is an ideology. Anne's main worry now is lead contamination. It gets on everything in the building from the HVAC duct work to uh, cabinetry, doorknobs. And they shouldn't be building anything in there until the building has been torn down to its shell. And started digging deeper to see if the problem was or will be taken care of, starting with an Ascent School official. She said that the full results would be available upon request. Um, after the testing is done. Kim Gilmartin, Ascent Academy's Director of New School Development and Outreach, told Ann in this email lead test results would be available as of March 26th. But after repeated attempts to reach the school, Vertex Company, which they claim conducted the testing, and state officials who oversee the testing, Landman says, I've been stonewalled. Ann tells me the fact they're not making this information publicly available like they said they would, is a disturbing sign. In an email to Ann, Stephanie Aragon of the Charter School Institute claimed to have, quote, verbal confirmation the lead mitigation process was complete and lead levels were below what is required. A later email from a sense marketing director, Amy Willis, suddenly changes tone, telling Landman, we do not share outside of our network, and that they shared with new families that lead abatement efforts were, quote, successful in bringing the facility's levels well below federal guidelines. Landman says that's a problem. The Centers for Disease Control has establish no safe level of lead. According to Mayo Clinic, lead poisoning in children can show up as several different symptoms, but the one Anne is most worried about is developmental delay and learning difficulties. Anne tells me she hasn't seen any sign of decontamination. Pick up trucks here and a few guys in t-shirts and jeans. I didn't see what looked like serious remediation work, but granted I wasn't here. 24-7. Landman worries because the school year is only a couple weeks away, yet the gun club logo remains in place and there's no sign of a playground. It struck me as a real tight deadline. We, the public, should all know whether this building is safe for people to be in. I reached out to the state and Ascent Charter School, but have yet to hear back. In the meantime, there's no official documented evidence any lead discovered in this building has been remediated. Reporting for Carry X5, I'm Timber Schumann. Now it's important to note lead contamination in a gun range is different than lead-based paint where if you remove the paint, you remove the lead. In a gun range, every shot puts off a light dust of lead that goes everywhere, including air vents. The EPA, CDPHE, and Mesa County Public Health have not yet officially deemed this building safe. Despite that, Ascent told Landman in emails they expect 300 children to start school when doors open this fall.